Point 12 and 13 of a communique issued after the recently held National Consultative Dialogue on Small-Scale Mining charged government to take steps to put in place systems that will strictly apply the law. The latest move as a result may not have come as a surprise. The 200 military personnel will spend days on the River Pra, which meanders through parts of the central and western region to flush out miners operating on the water. They will also seize equipment used to carry out the illegal activity. This will not be the first time such an exercise is taking place. Coming on the back of the failure of Operation Vanguard, I asked some stakeholders what they make of the latest move. We need to be careful about the mandate of these soldiers. We want to know what, how long are they going to be on the field and is their mandate specifically to seize equipment that the illegal miners are using on the field. These are very important because uh, history has shown us that keeping soldiers on the field for long has been counterproductive. I do not think sending soldiers alone is a panacea to the illegal mining menace. Of course, I believe, I want to believe that the minister is considering other options in addition to the, the deployment of soldiers to go and then seize equipment that are being used on our water bodies. Certainly, the government must solicit the support of the Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners. They are on the field, they know the sites, and they can direct the soldiers as to where to go in order to arrest these uh, corporates. So, in the coming days, I expect the government to begin an engagement process with the National Association of Small Scale Miners to help them, at least if it's a collaborative work, that will work, to help them to identify these areas so that they can go there and then do the arrest. For uh, the introduction of the military on the river bodies is something that is very important because most of our river bodies are being polluted now. So if government have deployed the military on the river bodies, it's a step in the right direction to take uh, the chamfer operators from it. But it's not only the rivers, we should focus more on the forest because most of these uh, rivers take their sources from the uh, uh, forest reserves. And if illegal miners are taking the cover or the vegetation there, then the water will be polluted or the turbidity level will increase right from the source before it comes to downstream. Over the past four years, the association has been able to work and take over 8,000 of these dredges there. We have the experience and the know-how on the river bodies. To us, in the small scale mining fraternity, it's a huge, significant effort by our president in a fight against the MC. We want to say thank you, Mr. President, for the demonstration of zeal and willpower as far as the communique that we all agreed on is concerned. We in Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners will however want to sound a word of caution to our military men who are at the forefront of these uh, operations to be conscious of certain facts. Once they go on assignment, they should know that there are people who have been given licenses, who are working and uh, they are working within the Mineral Commission's stipulated distance away from the water bodies. They want other interventions rolled out to augment the military deployment in enforcing the recent directives banning mining in river bodies and forest reserves. The number that the government have deployed are very, very, very uh, uh, low because 200 uh, military men all over the, uh, the river bodies and you look at the stretch, it's something that is not going to work. So we we'll advise that the government will work with us or collaborate with, uh, we we'll collaborate with government to ensure that the river bodies are, are, are free from these dredges because we have the experience. We want government to support us with boats and other logistics so that our task force will work and, and, and sustain and help sustain the efforts of government and that is what we think will, will help us to go and uh, to go the long way for us to reduce the number of uh, uh, this illegal dredges here 
at the end of the day when they are uh, the illegal dredges are taken off from the river body it will help everyone we will get water we will secure our waters our river will be clear the government must solicit the support of the ghana national association of small scale miners they are on the field they know the sites and they can direct the soldiers as to where to go in order to arrest these uh, corporates so in the coming days i expect the government to begin an engagement process with the national association of small scale miners to help them at least if it's a collaborative work that will work to help them to identify these areas so that they can go there and then do the arrest to our members we also want to sound a word of caution to them that they should do all that in their power to make sure that they operate with valid licenses and documents they should also ensure that they don't do things illegally they don't operate in an illegal fashion because we are not going to support we are not going to you know fight for anybody who will perpetrate illegality for that we will betray any of them who try to go that way to those who are working responsibly we say go on and do things right i don't the day modern ghana will reap, continue to reap the benefits that the association keep giving to the nation finally i want to also thank the government the president and also ensure uh, also um uh what do you call it uh, advise the president and the, the ministers that they should continue with the zeal they should continue to walk the talk and like the president said they shouldn't serve anybody big or young but rather they should ensure that the law works and nobody is covered and together we will fight this fight and win the battle